What up guys, I am back. So last time we talked, we were talking about split sheets and I gave you some homework. I said, go get your split sheets right. Today we're gonna talk about your royalties. So we all have a PRO or at least we should have a PRO. And I'm personally signed to ASCAP. A lot of people are either signed to ASCAP, CSAC, BMI. There's probably a ton others. I'm only gonna talk about this one I'm signed to just because it's an easy reference for me. So you have an ASCAP and you're about to release a project or a single. The first thing you should do is before you release it is to go into your ASCAP account and put in all your writers, put in all their splits, and in there, there's even a drop down menu that shows you an IPI number or an IPN number, something like that. That's kind of like a social security number for songwriters. We all have one, okay? So if you don't have a PRO and you're now with ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, whatever, go sign up for that. There is a $50 fee, it's one time. You can't avoid it, you gotta do it. After you've done that, ASCAP will collect for your performance royalties, which means any live shows, if your song is playing at some bar or restaurant or something like that, okay? So it's anything live. Now you're probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, what about all my streaming revenue? How am I getting paid for that? And that's what I wanted to get into. That's where your mechanical royalties come in. I did not realize this until a couple weeks ago that I was not signed up for any company that was collecting my mechanical royalty. So I linked up with a company called Song Trust and I got on the phone with them and I was blown away that as an artist who's released multiple projects, I was totally in the dark with this whole other revenue stream that I wasn't collecting on, which means that any money that's out there is just kind of going into the abyss. So that means my Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, basically streaming, which is kind of the world we live in. And I said to them immediately, I was like so blown away. I'm like, all right, I've got to hang up and I've got to sign up and register all of my songs immediately because I can't believe no one had ever told me that I needed to do this. Now, obviously, in this video series, we're just gonna be talking about moving majorly independent. And as you know, these major labels and artists that are signed to labels, they have teams that take care of this. So yes, when Chris Brown is releasing an album with 60 songs, I mean, no, he's not going on to ASCAP and individually inputting every song with writers, but I'm pretty sure he has someone on the payroll or at the label that's doing that for him. But as independent artists, we need to be doing that for ourselves. Also, just because you're signed up for ASCAP or BMI or CSAC, there's not a magical fairy that comes out and says, that sounds like it's in a dealer voice. No, you've got to actually use it. That means you've got to go put your splits in there. There's got to be a way that... Um, it's gonna recognize that that's your song. So you're gonna take your split sheets and you're gonna go into your performance rights organization company and you're gonna put in all that information. After that, after you've signed up for a company that's gonna collect your mechanical royalties, you are gonna take that same split sheet and you're gonna do the exact same thing on that end. Now you're collecting both of your royalties. Most people don't realize that collecting mechanical royalties is totally different than your performance, okay? And that's fine, we just don't know any better because we're coming from a time where streaming is still fairly new. So everybody across the board knew that if you're a legitimate artist, you were, you know, signed to ASCAP, let's say, because that's where I'm signed. But there's a whole new stream of revenue. So that's my advice today. If you sign up for a company, for instance, I signed up with Song Trust. It was, I believe, $100 to sign up for them. It's a one-time fee. I know that scares people and they're like, oh, I don't want to sign up for this. You know, I don't want to pay for this. But like, we don't have the bandwidth to be able to go collect our money. I would not know how to collect money 
on a song that might be playing in, let's say, Germany or Indonesia or Africa. We need these services and they're not for free. Also, people seem to get scared of signing paperwork that says like this company that I'm signing with that's going to collect for me is going to get a commission. Well, guess what? Again, would you rather have 100% of zero dollars or would you rather have 70 or 80% of whatever money is owed to you? Because again, we, we, we can't get it. We cannot go out there and get this. So today's lesson is get your split sheets, register your songs with your ASCAP, CSAC, BMI. From there, register your songs with your publishing company that's going to collect your mechanicals. That way you're covered across the board, especially when it comes to streaming because that's the kind of world we live in. And yeah, that's what I've got for you today. So the next video, I probably wanna talk about distribution. Also drop comments on the video below because what I noticed was the last video, a lot of people um, left some like really cool resources you can use for split sheets and this is how we do it. We're moving forward. We're pushing each other. It's 2020 vision for 2020. It's a dealer.